Man, look, spark packs are here now. I'm going to give you the agendas. We're going to go through the tail of the tape. We got more playoff packs, playoff round two packs. So look, like the video, subscribe if you're new. We're about to jump right into it. First, let's go ahead and get the tweets out the streets. 20 games of unlimited gets you Jalen Rose. I went ahead and I unlocked him. I might show y'all the road to that. Give me some comments. Comment road to Jalen Rose if you want to see my 20 games of unlimited broke down for you we should we should get into that i feel like y'all like it the logo gauntlet show i've been running into that as you know season seven is here this vortex scotty pippen ironically in ty depot's i'm retiring video he says something about wanting to run with scotty pippen and i see i mean i mean it seemed like a slap in the face they went ahead and they threw scotty pippen on the market for 20 bucks and I mean, come on, bruh. The guy's complaining about not being able to get these cards off the auction house. I can I can assure you the auction house isn't coming back. I mean, because it just seems like they're making more money without it. But that's neither here nor there. I mean, I, I'm still enjoying playing the game. I mean, I, I hate to see these guys go, but I also feel like if you guys want to go, go. If you're not having fun, why, why stay? Why stick around? You know what I mean? Anyway, with these spark cards, we got... We got Dark Matter Zion, we got Dark Matter Jeremy Lin, Dark Matter, no, Galaxy Opal Tyson Chandler, Galaxy Opal Tobias Harris, and Galaxy Opal Brandon Podzimski. I can't, I cannot pronounce that man's name. I really wish, I really wish that one of these bigs were Dark Matter instead of these undersized point guards and undersized forwards. But that's neither here nor there either. Let's talk about something else. I mean, 2K, you kind of giving us a lot of a lot of bookie whoop i mean and if you don't know what bookie whoop is it's, it's basically that nizzit that's some of that ugh, like why would you want that it's, it's something that you don't want you do not want bookie whoop you do not want to open up anything and be like oh this is that bookie whoop i mean i i don't know i don't know what to say at this point i wish that one of these bigs though tyson chandler really could have been dark matter and i would have i would have felt a little better tobias harris i mean he's kind of tall we could have we could have got a tobias harris but in, either way either way all right as far as uh tyson chandler goes though galaxy help with tyson looks mid 82 three-point shot i'm not feeling it at all 27 hall of fame badges 23 gold ones i'm not feeling that at all bro got a 98 rebound and that's about that's about good that's about good 95 driving dunk 98 standing i mean it is what it is at that point I mean, what do you want to call it marcus morris senior and george hill on very quick looks that sounds good uh, this car looks like a bunch of mid tyson chandler is a seven foot bum at this point i mean that's just what 2k did to him i don't know why 2k is doing this trevor ariza 6 8 small forward power forward it says Laker series card, 27 Hall of Fame badges, 40 gold ones, 94 three point shot. That's all right. I mean, if you if you pull him, if you, I mean, you can go get him. You know, I'm tripping. These are agendas. You don't have to pull him. But at this rate, I'm not liking it. I'm not liking the look. I mean, for a six eight, for a six eight player, period. We could have we could have kind of had this card be be a uh, dark matter. They're not really giving us the dark matters that we want. But I mean, I understand it. It's, he has Stephen Curry's escape and John Wall's moving step back. So if you can make that shape with a with an 86 ball handle, that's that's troll too. No, more troll cards, more the same that we've been getting. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a six seven small forward power forward Tobias Harris now. Just more the same old same old. It's what we've been getting all year. It's what we're gonna continue to get. Don't think this is not what we're gonna get next year. And it might be some more some more twist to it. You know what I mean? 27 Hall of Fame badges, 32 gold ones, 95 three-point shot. The defense is upper mid. Uh 89 ball handle, 89 speed with ball. Badges look regular, mid, under mid, under mid, under under. Tobias Harris is another troll card, just a troll card for you. He does have Stephen Curry's escape. He does have James Harden's moving step back. And Stephen Curry's behind the back. Uh, I wish I could say I'm feeling it, but I mean, it's just another Galaxy Opal filler card. Something to put, I mean, just something to put put in the, in the. I don't even know where you would put that. Put that on the, not, you wouldn't even put that on the bench. 
I'm I'm gonna go as far as to say it's just to put these in the collection. These are just to collector level up, just collector level up. These these actually I want to tell you what these cards are. This is really a 96 overall card in in May. I mean, call it what it is. This guy has a 93 three point shot. Brandini, Pod Savinsky. I, I can't. I don't even know if this guy's for real. I've never. This is actually a pink diamond card. And they just gave it Galaxy Opal. These are pink diamond cards, bro. But they gave him Galaxy Opal because why not? You know what I'm saying? Either way, this card is trash. 95 ball handle. He does have that. 6'4 small. I mean, 6'4 shooting guard point guard. I mean, this this garbage though. I mean, I bet you he has okay, he has Kimba Walker's escape. They damn sure didn't give him Steph Curry. Uh James Harden's moving. No, J yeah, James Harden's moving step back. That's crazy to me. Do you see what they're doing out here? I feel like 2K is honestly doing anything at this point and getting away with it. It's, I mean, I don't care though. I'm having fun. I'm still having fun playing the game. I'm still having fun making content. So another glorified Galaxy Opal to collect your level up. Okay, now this six three-point guard, Jeremy Lin, he might be kind of close to something. Let's see what he's talking about. 97 three-point shot. 97 ball handle, 97 speed with ball. He has just about 97 everything. So with a shoe, he can be some. He can be a little shaman. You're gonna have to badge him up with the finishing badges. Uh, he got some shooting badges to upgrade. Yeah, I mean, it could work. It could work. He got some defensive badges to upgrade, but it could work. If you wanna badge this card out like that, as far as these animations, 40 Hall of Fame badges, 25 gold ones is crazy to me. That is crazy to me. Um, I want to say Jeremy Lin might be it. Jaden Springer and Nicholas Battle on very quick. What does that go for? Does somebody get in the comment section that can go make that jumper and show me what that's talking about. Or right, we'll see soon enough because I'm gonna actually grind all of these. Kimba Walker escape. Um, James Harden movement step back seems to be the uh the go for all of these cards. Kimba Walker escape. Devin Booker combo. Kyrie dribble style. He it actually got 12 dunk packages and John Wall layup package. This don't look like too bad of a card. I just, it's going to take time. Zion Williams at the power forward, small forward, 6'6", six, six, small forward, power forward. He's undersized, first of all, but he's always a powerhouse. He has 99 athleticism. This guy has 95 perimeter defense on him, 99 inside scoring with a 94 three-point shot, 92 ball handle, the badge is not looking too bad, but you would have to badge him up a little bit in the playmaking area. So, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, what is his Zion on very quick? Trey Young leaner. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to call this card a bust, but I'm not going to get the he has Steph Curry moving step back. You might be able to zig into something with pro escape move, though. I'm, I mean, I'm not going to say pro escape move. Not too bad. He's full of dunks, though. 15 dunk packages. LeBron James layup. Uh, I'm gonna say that this card is gonna be a powerhouse just because Zion's always a powerhouse. And all these 99s that I see on in his uh, athleticism, that 99 strength is gonna mean something. That nine, that 99 inside scoring is gonna mean something. Zion's gonna be a beast when you throw a shoe on him. I'm not gonna lie to you. With that 94 three point shot, he's gonna yeah, he's gonna leave something. He's gonna leave it all out there on the floor for you. So just for him being actually a card that you can get to, that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. I mean, we talking about cards that we can go get. That's why I'm always bringing you these agenda cards. I make sure I bring these to you every week, every time they drop, because these are cards that you can go get. We're going to look at all of these playoff cards because it's time. It's that time. These boys been showing out. Uh, the playoffs been real. The playoffs been real, real. Donovan Mitchell is the lead for these cards and you're going to definitely be able to go get these. So, I mean, it's, it's more MT to grind up. That's just more MT for you to grind. Let's look at Al Horford real quick. 97 three point shot. We just kind of going through these real quick at a glance. Glancing at these, Al Horford might be a big that you can put on the floor. 97 rebounding, 27 Hall of Fame badges, 42 gold ones. Uh, I mean, a 6'9 center power forward, I'm going to call him a bum. I mean, just from my standpoint, you might not have a card that good. I do. So 
So, I mean, yeah, Al Horford is, is not it. Is it? PJ Washington, he out here doing his thing right now. Uh, 27 Hall of Fame badges, 41 gold, one's 98 three point shot. We looking at a 96, a 86 ball handle. My bad. Lower mid, lower mid. I'm not gonna even hold you. Kimball Walker escape. John Wall moving step back. Um, pro two leaner, but at the same time, I'm not feeling it. I'm just not six seven power forward, small forward. I'm just, I'm just not really feeling it. If you get him, you no, know, you go get him. You could put him on the floor. Divincenzo. Are we really looking for Divincenzo like that? Is that a card that we really out here looking for? I mean, I want to say 27 Hall of Fame badges, 36 gold ones, 97 three point shot on him. Um, he might be it. I mean, you could you could field him if you need him. Point guard, shooting guard. He's not gonna be the premier though. I mean, it's just something to roll with. If you, I mean, if that's your guy, Trey Young, escape on him. Moving, moving behind the back is on Stephen Curry. Moving step back is on Chris Paul. I haven't seen that in a minute. That's different. That's pretty different. Even chins on out here though. Let's look at uh Josh Hart. Josh Hart got a 95 three point shot. I'm not uh I'm not messing with Josh Hart though. I'm not even gonna lie to you. A six four small forward shooting guard. As far as his badges, 26, 27 Hall of Fame badges, 37 gold ones. I'm not really looking for bro. You know what I'd be looking for. Um, at this point in the game, I just I'm going bigger than that. Trey Young escape move on him with John Wall moving step back. You know I like to escape and step on you, so that's just my game. If you if you scouting, you know what I mean. If you scouting, Josh Hart not looking. He's not looking too bad, but nah, I've seen better. Nas Reed, six nine center power forward, under, another undersized center out here, just for the pack. Just to get to the, I mean, these cards, believe me, you can get to these cards, but this is just to build up collector level. 27 Hall of Fame badges, 39 gold ones on him. 95 three point shot, 95 interior scoring. Defense look mid. Badges look mid. Everything on this card look mid. Kimball Walker escape. I mean, this, where is he going to escape to, though? Where are you really trying to get with him? You know what I mean? Uh, more mid. All right, as far as Marcus Morris, though, let's see what bro talking about. 27 Hall of Fame badges, 37 gold ones on a 6 eight power forward, small forward. 37 gold ones, I said. 94 three-point shot on bro. 90 offense and defense rebounding. I'm not feeling him. I don't like the look. Yeah, this looks nasty. Lower 90s on everything. I don't know, bro. That's not a Galaxy Opal card, bro. That's, I would say that's a... That's like a pink diamond. Stephen Curry escape on him. John Wall moving step back. Yeah, I'm going to say this card is nasty. That's that's nasty. Why would y'all do that, man, like that? These playoff cards are kind of nasty so far. All right, now we got Aaron Wiggins. 27 Hall of Fame badges, 34 gold ones. This man is a 6'5 small forward shooting guard. And I'm just not feeling it off top. 95 three-point shot. I'm just... I haven't even looked at this card. I'm not feeling it. 88 ball handle. I knew I wasn't feeling it for a reason. I just look at all that yellow in the inside scoring. Any card that you see red and yellow, like much red and yellow in, you're not feeling it. I don't even want to look at the animations. Kimball Walker escape is on him. Chris Paul moving step back again. That's a troll. And the jumper looks nasty. Teron Prince upper release on Rodney Hood's lower base on very quick. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I'm look, Daniel Gafford. 59 three point shot. Get these cards out of here, bro. I'm tired of looking at them. 27 Hall of Fame badges, 16 gold ones on the center power forward. He's a 16 power forward, though. So what, though? Look at these badges, bro. Buddy can't shoot. And you know what I say? Anybody who can't shoot gets the boot. Get him out of here. If you can't shoot, you get the boot. We got another Anthony Edwards out here. Pink, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, Dark Matter. Anthony Edwards, Ant-Man been going crazy. 40 Hall of Fame badges, 25 gold ones. Let's see, 96 three-point shot on this one. 95 ball handle, 99 speed with ball. Driving dunk is on 99, okay, 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 okay. Intangibles low, intangibles on 25. I'm not, I don't know. I don't know. Let's compare bro to his bionic card real fast 
real fast real fast all right a lot of attributes okay his this new card has 20 28 is plus 28 that's crazy he's getting it into athleticism pretty much most of it's coming from athleticism the three-point shot is the same uh i'm gonna say hey i'm gonna say i'm i don't know i don't know what to call it at this point uh, animation wise it's gonna that's what's gonna make it for me is it the same animations I believe it's all the same animations on this card the dunk packages are different no the dunk packages are the same this is the same card just with a few upgrades just a few slight upgrades 20 plus 28 they didn't change any sigs on buddy so i mean just moving like that i don't know i don't know because that jumper was a little bit shaky that jumper was a little bit shaky all the same badges no badge upgrades so yeah buddy buddy got it tendencies any tendencies no tendency upgrades it's the same card just with a few slight upgrades plus one to the shot close plus two to the free throw plus one to the speed plus three to the acceleration plus one to the vertical uh plus one is plus two to speed with ball he got a little more defense in him plus 10 to his block plus five to the steal plus two to the lateral quickness plus one of the driving layup and that's your plus 28 going forward i would say that ant-man ant-man's upgrade okay it's an upgrade his playoff upgrade is is better than his uh than his first card so his bionic card so i mean go get that once i get that i'm gonna try him out i just i'm i'm not gonna lie to you i wasn't feeling it i'm gonna throw the shoe on him i'm gonna see what it is aaron gordon out here a six eight small forward power forward i might put him in over my blanchero actually at this playoff card just might go let's actually take a look i mean okay but he's two inches shorter but at the end of the day i'm looking at oh yeah he's plus 155 over buddy he has him in just about every stat category yeah it's going down he's uh he's out of here and he got plus one on his three-point shot just it's just like that for me i mean it's just like that it's just that way you know what i mean this is an upgrade to my this is a spot that i need an upgrade at so that's act, that's actually what's gonna happen is he's gonna take over 95 three-point shot uh 98 inside scoring 97s in the uh, defensive category athleticism is 97 so 95 acceleration a 90 ball handle these badges are not looking too bad either with the expressive badge on him um what are these animations though is he, is he going is he on sig he does have Giannis's moving crossover john wall's moving step back pro escape it's not too bad i'm seeing 14 dunk packages with lebron james lay a package that's not too bad he's a cutter isolation off the wing uh, they say you can post up high high post and low post, but that's not really where I'm using him. You know, I like to run a lot of pick and rolls anyway. Donovan Mitchell, a six three point guard, shooting guard with an issue. He has a serious issue and he likes to jump real high in the air and bang at the rim. Lately, he's been a little more under control, though. 98 ball handle, 99 speed with ball. You see all that 99 driving dunk, 99 three point shot. This might be a they, they they're giving us small point guards that have a lot of oomph to them so i mean 98 acceleration 99 vertical 99 speed the defense is at 97 the steel is at 98 this card might be a lot of it might make some noise Kyrie dribble style with uh i'm looking at pro escape see that's where he's gonna peg leg at pro escape but it, it's usable maybe maybe donovan mitchell leaner john wall move the step back Oh, this car see that's where they messed up at the six see when they give you the attributes they don't give you the six when they give you the six they don't give you the attributes that's crazy to me and he only has six dunk packages with default swing layup package that's kind of crazy with 40 hall of fame badges and 28 gold ones i'm gonna say i'm gonna pass on donovan mitchell but he will be one of those bang outs he is gonna be a crash out for real if you want to put him at the two and throw him lobs all day he'll catch him definitely so i mean but it is what it is at this point those are our playoff cards and our spark cards and i mean all that's left is to show you how to get to them okay 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 i want to know why why did you do why did you do this coach like this why did this WNBA Alyssa thomas coach get post playmaker 
as the only upgrade. If we look at if we look at any other coach out of any other set, like Jerry Sloan gets plus four to all of these all of these spots. George Carl gets plus four plus five to all of these slots. Even these coaches get like plus significant pluses. I mean, look, look at these coaches. Even this coach gets three, three spots. Even these red coaches, these Ruby coaches get three spots. You know what I mean? These, these, uh, these blue coaches get three spots. Even these coaches get a couple of spots. You know what I mean? But when it comes down to Alyssa Thomas is the only coach that I see out here that only gets post playmaker. What are you doing? I'm supposed to use this coach in what? Like, like, I don't know. I mean, there's a there's a place to use it. There's a place where you could use this, but it's not gonna be anywhere competitive. Oh shit! Oh shit! Matter of fact, brother, ugh. what's that? It's Alyssa Thomas, and they did her wrong for no reason. Anyway, let's get to what we came here for. We came here to figure out these agendas. And first and foremost, I'm going to let you know it's about to be a journey. First, let's start off with these sparks. Make 103 pointers over multiple multiplayer games to get Jeremy Lin. Get two steals in a game with a player 10 times to get Trevor Ariza. Get 50 rebounds with centers over multiple triple threat online games to get Tyson Chandler. Score 20 points in a game with a warrior player 10 times to get Brandini Paskomitsky. How do you say this man's name? Win five games in a row to get Tobias Harris. Win a game using 13 Pelican players in order to get this award pack right here. Make 50 dunks over multiple multiplayer games in order to get this uh, Slasher Deluxe. Score 43 points and get one block with a power forward in a game in order to get this badge award pack. And your grand prize will be Zion Williams. Williamson, freaky, freaky frog itself. Freak, freak daddy. Freak daddy. All right, look, in order to get these round two playoff recaps, this is what you're gonna have to do. But first, check this out first. I got a secret for you because you can get all of these cards off these challenges. Easy, you come over here to the challenges. We got round two recaps. You get all of these players, right? These, the, in order to win these games, you're gonna have to get the same win conditions as the agenda. So you total 16 points and five rebounds with any player or players in order to get this Galaxy Opal Aaron Wiggins, right? All right, so you do that, but at the same time, you go actually use Aaron Wiggins to do it. So you go find any Aaron Wiggins and you score the 16 points. You go do the challenge with any Aaron Wiggins. And I believe you should be able to do both of these at the same time. So that means you can do the agenda and the challenge to get the card at the same time. Now, what you're going to want to do is get 16 points and get five rebounds with any Aaron Wiggins in a game. Get five blocks with any Daniel Galford in a game. Get one double double with any Josh Hart in a game. Make four three-pointers and get four blocks with any Nas Reed. Score 22 points and get 15 rebounds with any Al Horford. Then we got to do seven three-pointers with any P.J. Washington in a game. Score 28 points and get four assists with any Dante DiVincenzo. Score 25 points with a 77 field goal percentage or better with Marcus Morris Sr. Get 29 points and eight assists with any Donovan Mitchell. Score 27 points and two offensive rebounds with any Aaron Gordon. And then score 43 points and get two dunks with any Anthony Edwards. So just like I said, you do all of those agendas, but you actually use the player in these challenges. You go do them and you go get the player, use any version of that player to complete the challenge just like that. And you just go through all 11 of these joints in order to bust two birds with one stone. You'll be great. It'll be fun. You'll have a whole bunch of MT when you finish. And we out. I mean, just like that. Y'all wrong What's for how that? you did that coach, bro. Stop doing the WNBA wrong, bro. We could have a whole WNBA version of my team. If y'all listening, if you still listening. Because, I mean, I know a whole lot of y'all unfollowed a whole lot of content creators. 
you don't want to listen to us anymore because of the way we talk or the way we talking about the game. I mean, and I understand you might not want us even around anymore. If we voice in our opinion on the game, why not give? I understand it. Uh, I think DBG said it best in his last video. He he reacted to a uh, Tadipo and he was like, you know, why not get rid of the boisterous players? The guys that want to speak their mind, the community, the parts of the community that want to rebel or talk against what we got going on and try to knock our pockets. I get it. I, I'm not. I look, I'm understanding. I'm trying to get my pockets up myself. So I do have an idea, though. If you made a WNBA my team, a whole separate WNBA my team, I wonder if it would pull some money or maybe it'll split the community down the middle. I don't know. I've been struggling with that. I mean, because you did start the W and the W, it really is a good game mode. I'm not going to lie to you. The W is not a bad game mode. I have a player. I have a, I have a player in a W. I showed y'all in, I don't know if I showed y'all in a video. I might have showed y'all. Y'all was trying to figure out how to get a lot of the a lot of these jump shot animations. And I mean I can show you right now if you want to see. Like, this is how you get to them. You make your player in the W, you get to level four, maybe level five. I'm at level four and I get the I got him at level four. So get your player up to level five. All you gotta do to get your player up to level five is just sim. Just simulate a season. Pretty much, I mean, just make a player in a W, simulate a season until you get to level five. Easy. And at level five, you get your green releases. So, I mean, bam. For some reason, I'm at level four and I have my green releases. I'm not sure if I don't know how that works. But at level five, you get your green releases. And then you come down here to, uh, I want to say, jeez. Uh, it's been a while okay yeah you come down here to uh my player animations and then you go to customize hud and bam see now look the thing is you put these you put your jump shot meter on in here your perfect release animation you put it on in here and you can't change it once you change it if you change it anywhere else you're not gonna be able to change it back. You're gonna always have to come back here to change it back to the custom that you want. And then that, I mean, that's that. I like the slingshot. That's where we at with ours. But I mean, all right, look, this, that's besides the point. I think that making a WNBA my team branch off might benefit. It might benefit your pockets. It might bring new WNBA fans to the game. I don't know if it can hurt. I don't know if it can hurt having it, having it like a limited game mode, a limited game mode just to test it out. Because I know that the W, this game mode, the W, it's going to be something big. It's going to be way bigger than it is now. I mean, you got the W online. It's not really a whole big park, but it is, it's worth playing. It's a good game mode. I mean, I can't lie to you. It's not a bad game mode at all. I mean, it's really not. You get prizes, you get, I mean, I don't know. I mean, Y'all check it out though. If you wanna, you wanna get into the W. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell you not to. I had fun down there. The court looks nice, but I mean, no, we went through enough. You know what I mean? It's a whole lot that we could be doing out here. It's a whole lot that we not doing out here. You know what I'm saying? But I do know I'm still having fun with the game. I hope y'all having fun with the game because, uh, I mean, it is what it is at this point. I don't know why I hit that flex bomb. I was trying to hit the six and then be out. Kobe. Kobe. Mamba forever. You know what I'm saying? Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer.